Hi, my name is Eugenia and I'm a math tutor. Today we're going to talk about the multiplication rule of probability. The multiplication rule of probability applies when we want to find out the chances of the intersection of two events, that is, the chances that both events will happen. For example, suppose that we want to find out the probability of first drawing a green marble and then a blue marble out of a bag of marbles. We can write the multiplication rule like this. The probability of A and B happening, and here we use the intersect symbol for A and B, is equal to the probability of A happening times the probability of B happening, given that A has already happened. So let's go back to our example of a green and blue marble being pulled out of a bag. Let's say that there are 12 marbles total. Three are green, four are blue, and five are red. Our equation will look like this. The probability of pulling out a green and blue marble is equal to the probability of pulling out a green marble times the probability of pulling out a blue marble after we've already pulled out the green. Now we just need to figure out what those two probabilities are and we can find the answer. Let's start with the probability of pulling that first green marble. If there are three green marbles and 12 of them total, then the probability of pulling out one green marble is 3 divided by 12, which can be simplified down to 1 divided by 4. Next, let's find the probability of pulling out a blue marble after the green one. There are four blue marbles, so we can go ahead and write that in, but notice that we still haven't put in that first marble we pulled out, so now there are only 11 total. So we have four elevenths here. Now to get our answer, we can go ahead and multiply our two probabilities. We have one-fourth times four elevenths. The fours cancel out and we're left with one eleventh. Because we left the first marble out of the bag, this was an example of two dependent events. That means that the first event affected the second event. But actually, this formula also works for two independent events. For example, if we had put that marble back in the bag, we would still have a probability of pulling out the green marble to be one-fourth, but the probability of pulling a blue marble would now be four over twelve, so four twelfths, which can be reduced down to one-third. Therefore, the probability of having pulled out a green and blue marble after replacing the green one would be equal to one-fourth, times one-third, which is equal to one-twelfth. And that's how we find the probability of two dependent or independent events both happening using the multiplication rule of probability. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.